Okay, so take a look at the Astro AI True RMS Digital Multimeter. Cool. Look at that. We even have insulated alligator clips on this guy. So, let's check out our test leads. They are properly labeled. It says max 10 amps, 1 kilovolts. So that's going to be plenty more than anything I'm going to be dealing with. And then it is CAT2. Got some nice points on the end. Fairly decent wire. It's not a silicone, but it is decent. And then our plugs on the other side. And then if we want to use the alligator clip, we just got to find that hole and plug that in. So this makes life a lot easier. So I'm going to use black to come and red to input. Most measurements you're going to be doing, you want to do exactly like this. But if you want to measure current, you can plug this into the 10 amp fuse spot. So right now we are off. Cool. So it actually does come with a battery. We got AC and DC. Right now we are on DC. If we want to change that, we hit select. Now we are on AC. We got ohms, diode, and beep. So right now we're open loop. So if I connect these together, we got continuity. If I hit select, now I can test diodes. This isn't a diode, but and then we got beep. Cool. So, so that's nice and fast. I like seeing that. Then we got capacitance. So if we have a capacitor, we want to check that, we would use this. And this is kind of interesting. We can check for 1.5 volt batteries, 9 volt and 12 volt. So let's check a 1.5 volt. Okay, it's saying 1.5. And if we check a 9 volt, 9.24 volts. Cool. So then 12 volt, basically if you're doing anything with your car, you can use that. Of course, I'd probably just be using this on DC and then use that. But yeah, it's really a teach their own. Then for amps, we got these three settings. That's how you would check your current. So you just adjust that depending on what range you're going on. And if we want to check for voltage on a wire, but we don't want to make contact, we can use that. Interesting. Cool. So that works about as well as any non-contact tester I've used. But now let's check, swap that to AC and let's check this. All right, 123. So you know the AC checking is good. And let's check DC. So it says 12.3 volts. Let's see what we get. Yeah, 12.27. So it checks AC, no problem. It checks DC, no problem. This is a perfectly good multimeter. So yeah, for any DIYer, this is going to be a very nice multimeter. We can do AC, we can do DC, basically anything that we're going to be doing around the house, this can handle. I wish I had something like this when I was just starting out. This is a very nice multimeter.